testing testing one two three and we are live what's up guys george the cloud here my name is jorge aka george welcome to the channel and welcome to my life i feel like i don't know why i'm like hunching over or the camera's like a little bit low so i feel like i have to but yeah um well today we're checking out drake polar opposites i have reacted to one other drake video this was two weeks ago and it was first person shooter featuring j cole um i don't know if you can read this but on the thumbnail here it, it says drake fans let's talk that was my thumbnail words drake fans let's talk uh, of course i go very into detail about what i thought about that song so, just, so i'm not gonna say it here if you're interested go check that one out but yeah we're gonna give drake a chance I don't know what to expect um not sure what this is about see that's the thing i do enjoy some drake songs but others i don't and the main thing is the um lyrics so let's pay attention to the uh, lyrics on this one and yeah get some popcorn fill up your water put your headphones on join the channel let's go
Interesting. Okay. Wait for the commentary, guys. You're gonna love this. Uh, first things first, we like and we subscribe. I'm already subscribed. Uh, yeah, I have a link of the original video down in the description so you can check it out. What do I think about the song? I'll say this. I actually enjoyed the music video. It went along with the tempo of the song, which is super slow, like laid back. I mean, it was it was slow. Um, so the video was kind of relaxed. It wasn't that many shots. I think most of it was filmed in like the same area. Uh, these people sitting around playing poker. It, it, fine, right? I like the... There was a vibe there. Consistent throughout the whole video. The lyrics... Actually, not bad. In this song, not bad. It was about... Okay, as the title says it, polar opposites. But to me, it was more him kind of... um. Uh, like what's the word reproaching like trying to uh, say that you know his girlfriend didn't have to do all this or his ex you know whatever the, the person he's mentioning uh you didn't have to like lowball me or make me look this way or things like that in the relationship so it was more like him criticizing things that the other person did I felt like it was most of the most of the track and maybe that's a Drake thing where he tries to victimize himself for everything. I'm not sure. I'm not saying that in a in a hateful way. I think actually I have respect for Drake in the sense that he kind of carved carved his own path, his own lane, right? It's the Drake style. So it's very respectable he's been he's been consistent with his songs and he's been around for many years now and i don't think i mean that deserves recognition as it is you may get tired of that kind of lifestyle you know just ha having to make music songs by obligation hopefully he still enjoys it and he does it because you know he likes it and he's motivated and not just pushed to do it but yeah i'm just saying he has longevity in the music scene and he has a consistent style which is these kind of how do i put this i mean i'm not mind you i'm not the expert here i'm just uh just a guy watching but to me is um uh, songs about heartbreak about your ex about love relationships just kind of that thematic or theme and um, I can see the public appeal in these songs this was kind of a depressing song though to me the imagery like the the scenario I would listen to the song is if I just broke up with somebody and I was about to go get drunk and maybe I was like lonely at home and, uh, you know, not many things like going on and I was just depressed. So uh, that's why I'm saying this is like a depressing song. Low energy, deep thoughts, sad thoughts, regret, um, maybe a little bit of, of hate or of, uh, What's the word? I'm trying to think of words to describe this song. But yeah, you guys get the idea. And the music video conveyed the the vibe of the song. Kind of misty, cloudy, dark, slow. I didn't get this shot though. This was kind of like way out of nowhere. It might represent something. I think, well, the owl um i'm just putting those two together now i guess drake has a thing with 
like an imagery with owls. He's trying to connect his something like that. But I see the owl here and I see the owl here. So yeah, overall, um, what? I'm not going to say this is like one of my favorite songs. I don't think it's supposed to be a favorite. It's just kind of, uh, I don't want to say filler because people might get offended. It's not what I'm trying to convey. It's just, I don't think it's a song that can stand on its own per se. It has to be like part of an album or connected to other songs, things like that. It was just a very like mellow, low energy, depressing song, but not in a bad way. I'm just describing the vibe, right? Uh, again, I did like some parts in it, some of the some of the rhymes, some some of the things he said. He really likes to stretch out his words to match the the uh, the melody or the the rhythm, and it, it, it's cool, right? But um, yeah, I think I'll have to listen to more Drake because I, I still don't have the a um, uh, good grasp on what what he's about, and also there's so many songs. But in the comments, please don't uh, be afraid to, you know, uh, start a conversation with me. I will read all the comments and reply. So hit the like, subscribe, share all that. At the end, do a flip. Till the next. Thanks for watching.